The normalization of tobacco consumption among youths has been a growing concern in Belize for the past several years. Every year, around 200 Belizeans die as a direct or indirect result of smoking and, with the rise of electronic cigarettes and vaping devices, tobacco addiction is developing at an earlier stage. With that concern in mind, the National Drug Abuse Control Council and its partners are working towards implementing policies that will hinder the accessibility of tobacco to youths in Belize. What is the uh, Ministry of Health and Wellness doing? We have drafted a National Tobacco Bill and this bill um, we're hoping that we are able to cross it through all the stages so that it would be approved and once it's approved and implemented in the country of Belize it would look at putting a specific age, limit age, in terms of consumption of tobacco. Whereas um, 18 would be the, the recommended age for individuals to be able to consume tobacco, but also 18 being the age where people can legally purchase tobacco products. Data collected by the NDACC indicate that the primary consumers of tobacco products are young males. Studies from the Pan American Health Organization reveal that nearly 17% of tobacco consumers are males between the ages 13 and 15. The most affected population are young people, especially in this new day and age where the traditional consumption of tobacco has uh, spread to new and emerging products such as e-cigarettes, um, hookahs, um, vaping products, and so forth. And these are attractive products that are consumed by our younger population. So the, the National Tobacco Bill looks at um, how we can reduce consumption among the population. It looks at how we can increase a taxation in these tobacco products because the formula of taxation for tobacco consumption has always proven effective because it, it the increase of tobacco the, the cost of tobacco products um, gives in one way or the other uh, a more uh, it's more limited for accessibility to young to the younger population. We spoke with Dr. Fernanda Cuellar, who gave us insight into the dangers of vaping as an alternative to cigarettes. Categorically, I will say that smoking is bad for your health and vaping is bad for your health. Remember, vaping came about because it would have served as an alternative to smoking tobacco. But in the short amount of time that has been here, um, there are studies, there is data, there is information already um, showing the negative effects of, of vaping on your body. Um, and unfortunately, I think one of the, the reasons that young people mostly are, are hit with these exposures is the good business of marketing, is marketing of, this, of the companies that make these things. No? They make it feel as though it's safe to smoke or safe to vape with little or no side effects. Dr. Cuellar also spoke about the negative impacts that smoking has on the body. He explained that not only are smokers at risk of lung cancer, but also risk exasperating pre-existing health conditions such as diabetes and hypertension. Cumulatively, these illnesses kill over 500 Belizeans each year. There's more than enough uh, data that shows that smoking leads to conditions such as what we refer to as COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, chronic bronchitis are the two main examples there, where people destroy their lungs, they, they form a lot of scarring of the lungs and have them have trouble breathing uh, after a certain time of smoking, no? meaning that they will be not be able to smoke room air, I mean, breathing room air satisfactorily. So they need to be supplemented by oxygen. And those are the people you see walking around with oxygen tanks. Some youths are joining in the cause to raise awareness about the dangers of smoking. We visited Belize High School where students, Cortland Woods, Amara Medina, and Elaine Perdomo, demonstrated how tar enters the respiratory system through smoking using a water bottle and cotton pads. This is from a previous experiment that, experiment that we did with the same thing. It was just a bigger water bottle, so there was more air coming through. And this is an example of what happens when you smoke a cigarette. As you can see, your lungs are like a natural filtration system of the air that goes into your body. And when you smoke, it produces 
a lot of smoke and it has tar, so it's not very good for your body. I think it was very important to highlight the fact, um, like having a visual for smoking. It's easy to like to talk about it, but it's different when you actually have a visual to show people what's going on. Brittany Gordon for News 5.